Good afternoon, guys. I am just here in the kitchen with Porter. Of course, I'm holding him. When am I not holding him? So, do you guys want to see my um, parenting fail? I think it's a parenting fail. I'll show you guys. First, I'll preface it. So, we are going stir crazy in the house. Um, it's day like, I don't even know when the last time is that we left the house. It's snowy outside. It's too cold to go outside. There's a weather like emergency in our area saying that it's going to get down like super, super cold tonight. Uh, thankfully, after tomorrow, it is supposed to start to warm up. Thank goodness. Anyway, we're going stir crazy. We're not going anywhere. Anywhere we would usually go is closed. Story to time at the library, you know, anywhere indoor because of COVID. So I'm trying to come up with ways to entertain my kids, mostly my toddler because Porter just hangs out. Mostly Grayson. So I was like, oh, I know. I will do a sensory bin. I've done one of them before. I just have like a little bin and I put like a bunch of cornflakes in it and put like different spoons and stuff and he liked it okay. So I was like, this time I'll do it with snow. I've seen, um, there's a post going around on Facebook where you should put a bunch of snow in your bathtub and let your kids play with it and then when it melts, it'll just go down the drain. Before I did that and took all that time to fill up the bathtub with snow, I thought I would do a mini version and put it in um, these bins. So I'll show you. Okay, so here's my bins. I put them on the ground. I did two. I started off with one and then I was like, you know what, I'll do two. So I did two. I filled them up with snow. We have plenty of snow to go around. So I filled it up no problem. It's actually very, um, some places it's really icy, but um, most places it's pretty soft. So anyway, I filled these up put all of the stacking cups in it so we could play with that. And I, and I even put in some of his um, little farm animals and put those in it too. And where is my toddler? Well, he's not playing with the sensory bins. Instead, he's playing with Porter's walker. So I got out these sensory bins and he played with them for maybe a minute. He took the time, I had all these toys originally in this bin. He took the time to take all the toys from this bin into this bin and then he was done. Parenting fail. Um, I was like, this is awesome, it's gonna entertain him, like he's gonna think it's so fun, playing with snow. No, he didn't care about it, he didn't like it. And so I'm really glad I didn't take the time to fill up my bathtub with snow because he didn't do anything with the bins that I filled up with snow. So that was a parenting fail. I think it's a parenting fail. Grayson, like I showed you, he's playing with the walker. This used to be Grayson's when he was little and he would push it around um, and enjoyed the walker. And so I got it out for Porter because Porter really likes to stand. And so I thought it would be something fun. And then eventually Porter's gonna start walking. He'll wanna push it around. Is Porter playing with it? No. My toddler is playing with it. He thinks it's so fun. Funny story with this little toy. When I first got it, my sister Allison and I put it together. We were like, yeah, we're gonna do it. We don't need any guys. We're gonna do it just fine. Well, what we didn't realize was you had to follow the steps to assemble it and they were very specific and you had to do them in a very specific order. And if you went out of order, it would not work. Well, we didn't know this, and so we just assembled it how we thought it should go instead of reading the directions, and uh, it was broken. Couldn't put it together. Like, you had to put the legs on before you put the wheels on, and we put the wheels on before the legs or something like that. So, um, basically, long story short, we had to contact the company and take pictures of it to prove that it was broken and they sent us a new one and we had to reassemble it the correct way. So that was the story with that. It was a heck of a deal. And then they made us like write, draw all over it um, and send pictures that we drew all over it so that nobody else would get it. It was really weird. Anyway, um, yeah, it was a whole ordeal, but um, anyway, Gray really liked that walker and I think Porter will really like that walker too. We just finished off the rice cereal. Starting tomorrow, we will be eating, uh, we, Porter will be eating oatmeal cereal. Um, Gray really liked oatmeal cereal compared to rice cereal, so I'm 
interested to see what Porter will think of it. Um, Porter has been sleeping terribly lately. Thank you for asking. Um, he has been, uh, well, there were like two nights in a row where he only got up once a night. And I was like, this is it. He's going back to sleeping through the night. Like, this is perfect. No, because then after that, for the past like three or four days, he's been waking up like every two hours. I put him down at about 7.30. He wakes up at 10, then about 12.31, then about three, four, then six, and sometimes he's up at 6 a.m. for the day, and sometimes I can get him to go back to sleep and then he'll be up at 8 a.m. He's never consistent, and I never know what he's going to do, so I've been dealing with that. Potty training, um, I've decided to start to put pants on Grayson. I don't have to cover him anymore, which is super nice. Um, I just kind of figured eventually he's gonna have to wear pants. He's not gonna be able to be half naked his whole life. So I'm getting him used to wearing pants. I'm not putting him in underwear because I read a book that said that underwear makes them think that it's a diaper and then they're easily to go in them. The book that I read, which is um, Oh Crap Potty Training, says to not put underwear on your kid for at least a month. Um, I probably won't put underwear on him until he's actively telling me that he has to go potty, which we are still not at that spot yet. He's still pooping, not in the potty. Yesterday he pooped in his pants which wasn't great, but it was contained to the pants, so I only had to clean the pants and not the floor, so. Um, yeah, we're still working on that, but yeah, I've put him in pants now, no underwear. He seems to be doing okay with it. Um, he does not have a lot of pee accidents. Um, he usually will go on the potty, it's just the poop that we're working on. Also, do you guys wanna see me be the parent of the year? Listen to this new song that I taught Grayson last night. Grace, sing your song. Sing your song. Six, eight, nine. Six, eight, nine. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. From the window. To the wall. To the wall. I am officially losing it because I taught Grayson that song. Um, I changed the lyrics, obviously, because that song is not appropriate for kids. But we were in the bathtub last night and he has a bunch of foam letters and numbers. And he had the six and the nine. He kept saying six, nine, six, nine. And I was like, six, eight, nine. And then I was telling him the joke, like, why six afraid of seven? And then I was like, hey, I know a song. Six, eight, nine, dang your body. So I started singing to it and he thought it was hilarious. I think he liked the part where you go from the window to the wall because he's visual and he likes songs with visuals in them. And so now he's going around saying, six, eight, nine, dang, you're fine. <laughs> I know, I'm parent of the year, you guys. I know, I'm awesome. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just bored. Um, Anthony is back to going to Indiana for the weekends. It's Friday, so he is leaving for Indiana today. We'll be gone till Monday, and so I'm bored, and I don't have anyone to talk to other than you guys and my kids, and Porter doesn't talk, and Grayson doesn't really talk either. Well, Grayson talks, he just doesn't talk in complete sentences, really. Are you playing with the snow? He really just wants to eat it. He doesn't really want to play with it. Is that yummy? <laughs> Yum. Yum snow. It's so nice that I don't have to cover him up with my hand, you guys. That was so much. And it's kind of hard when I'm holding a baby in my other hand. Wee. Snow? Are you eating the snow? That's so silly. That's so silly. Mm -hmm. Well, so much for my sensory bin excitedness. All he wants to do is just eat it. Same thing with the cornflakes. He just wanted to eat it. Well, that's what happens when I try to get creative. Are you eating the snow? Are you eating the snow? That's so, That's so silly. If you guys have any ideas of, you know, fun activities to do with toddlers and snow, that's not necessarily outside because it's really, really cold, um, put it in the comments down below. I'd love any suggestions. I've seen people, um, like, filling up balloons with water and putting coloring in them and letting them freeze overnight and then you have, like, ice balls 
that are colored, which I think are really cool, but then it's like, what do you do with them? You just look at them? I don't know, but I've been seeing that picture go around too. So let me know if you have any ideas. Say hi, Porter. Say hi. He is so close to crawling. He will um, push up all the way on his arms now. Doesn't do anything with his feet, hence why he doesn't really go anywhere, but he does go backwards. So backwards is what Gray did before he went forward. So I feel like it's coming really soon. And I'm really, really hoping that once he starts crawling, he won't want me to hold him 24 seven. That'd be really, really nice.